So around a six under, your lowest round on the LET. I mean, you must be absolutely buzzing after that. Uh, honestly, I'm so happy. What a start. What a great course. What a great day. Beautiful weather. Really took advantage of the fact that there wasn't too much wind out there. And tell me, there was an eagle on the card and a bit of a surprise. It was indeed. We got up to the green and there was only one ball and I was like, I'm sure mine didn't go long. And I checked the hole and there it was, sat at the bottom of the cup. So very happy. What was really clicking for you out there? I just played really smart, really sensible. You've got to hit the fairways around here because the rough, you can get flyers or dead balls. You've just got to be so careful of what you're hitting off the tees. And obviously, I'm a long hitter, so I can use that as my advantage. Um, yeah, and I hold some really good putts. Absolutely. It's a big old course, isn't it? It's a beautiful course. It's fantastically designed, but it is quite long, so that does give you an advantage. Yeah, it's really nice for me to play somewhere that does give me the advantage for a change. Sometimes we play some fiddly golf course, but this one is a bit of both, really, because you do have to be wise on where you're, where you're hitting the ball, and it's great for me to be long, take my advantage. And you've taken that form you found in, in Morocco as well onto this week, haven't you? I mean, at one stage in Morocco, you were, you were in the running. Yeah, that was a funky last round, to say the least. But the game's getting there. I'm really happy. It's just it's a confidence boost for me because I struggle with that sometimes. So just going to see if I can kick on from here and you never know what might happen. Never know indeed. Looks like day one leader. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you.